Okay, I'll try and wrap this up quickly. Okay, so um, the, these neurons, okay, so let me quickly just go up and show you again. Oh, come on. Okay. No. Okay, so this is a neuron. Okay, this structure over here, that is a neuron. Okay, so when I go through the structure now, just imagine this, and then we will look at this at the end again. Okay, so the center here, this area over here, that is the cell body. Okay, so where you see the big nucleus, that's the cell body. Um, and then off of the cell body, you find two, um, two type of things coming off of it. Okay, is the easiest way to put it. Okay, so two types of outgrowths. Okay, and these are what we think, think of as the long nerve fibers. Okay, so in this picture here, it is quite short, but these nerves can be very long. Okay, it runs from, it, it runs the whole length of your body. Okay, so here we have the cell body. Okay, and then we have the parts that come off of it. Okay, the, um, okay, in this case, okay, this is the axon. Okay, so this air, the longer area is called the axon, and this is called the dendrites. Okay, but I'm going to explain the difference between the two now. Okay, so the dendrites is, uh, takes impulses towards the cell body. Okay, so it is going to take impulses from elsewhere and take it towards the cell body, whereas the axon is going to transmit impulses away from the cell body. Okay, so let's quickly look at this. I'm going to draw for this. Okay, so here's the dendrites. Okay, so you have multiple dendrites and they are gonna take impulses towards the cell body. So for example, if you put your hand on a hot stove, let's say you're walking into the kitchen, you put your hand on the stove, okay, then your hand sends impulses towards your brain uh, telling you that that hurts, okay, take it off. Uh, or as you are listening to me now, the bone inside of your ear is vibrating, okay, um, and causing sound waves uh, or causing that gets transmitted into impulses, and those impulses get sent to your brain. And when it arrives at your brain, okay, it arrives via the dendrites, okay. So this is impulses traveling towards the cell body, and then this. Let, let's say, for instance, then the cell body makes a decision. Okay, it's not quite how it works. Um, but then this um, uh, neuron is going to send a signal elsewhere again. Okay, it might send a signal then to, let's say we use the first example of uh, the, you put your hand on a hot stove. Okay, so then the cell body is going to send a signal to your muscle, okay, to lift your hand up. Okay, because otherwise, okay, that's going to cause a lot, a lot more pain. Okay, so the dendrites bring impulses towards the cell body. The axon takes impulses away. Okay, now let's see. I'm stuck here again. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so... No, no, come on. Okay, so... That's the dendrites and the axon. And then those yellow pieces that you saw, the yellow boxes that you saw, those were the myelin sheets, okay? And they wrap around the axon to increase the speed of the impulses, okay? But not that important, okay? The first three is the most important. Um, and then the function of the whole neuron is to conduct impulses to and from the central nervous system, okay? So it's like a conducting pathway, okay? It's literally like electricity that flows uh, in your nerves and your brain and your spinal cord, okay? It conducts impulses all around the body, sending messages to different parts of the body, okay? So it conducts impulses, and these impulses uh, contain messages for, um, for the different parts of your body, okay? It the way it works is a lot more complicated. We don't focus on that in grade 10. In grade 10, we just want to see how it looks like. Okay, so... <clears throat> You get three types of neurons. You get sensory neurons, motor neurons, and interneurons. Sensory neurons, okay, are what your body uses to sense things. 
Okay, so for example, putting your hand uh, on a hot stove, okay, sensory neurons will send that signals to the brain. Okay, motor neurons is what your brain then sends back to your arm to lift up your arm. Okay, so sensory neurons senses, motor neurons brings about some sort of action. Okay, other names for this is called afferent and efferent neurons. Okay, so afferent neurons is your sensory neuron, efferent neuron is your motor neuron. One way that you can remember this is motor neurons bring about an effect, okay, with an E. Okay, so, and sensory neurons affect something else. So, if you struggle with English, then that's perhaps not a good uh, one to use, but the, the main one here is remember effect, okay, so, um, what effect does that uh, this have on okay some what effect does my studying have on my marks okay so effect okay so motor neuron brings about an effect okay so i hope that helps to remember it but yeah then interneurons is in between the two okay so here in your spinal cord yeah you have an interneuron that connects the two okay then uh, other parts okay so you have Okay, so here's an explanation. The sensory neuron transmits impulses from receptors to the central nervous system. Okay, we've already discussed that. Okay, so it goes to the central nervous system, to the brain. Okay, so if you kind going to forget what the central nervous system is, you can write in brackets there the brain and also the spinal cord. But, okay, if you just for help you to, help you to remember, just write brain. Um, and then uh, the thing that sends that signal Okay, is uh, starts with the receptor. Okay, so a receptor is something that receives information from outside. Okay, so for example, you have receptors on your tongue. Okay, that tells you when you are eating different foods and send that information to your uh, brain. You have receptors in your nose. You have receptors on your skin. Okay, to tell you when you are touching something. Okay, those are called mechanoreceptors. When something gets touched. Okay, that sends a signal that it's feeling pressure and it sends that to the brain. Okay, so you have a bunch of receptors all throughout your body, okay, receiving different information and it sends that information then to the brain or to the central nervous system. Then the motor neuron or the efferent neuron transmit impulses away from the central nervous system. Okay, so away from the brain. Okay, to an effector. Okay, so the effector is the thing that brings about a change or response okay for example a muscle or a gland so a muscle that the easiest one to remember is a muscle okay if you want to tell your uh, muscle to pick up something okay then your brain sends a signal to the muscle the muscle contracts and it picks something up okay so that's why it's called an effector because it brings about an effect um, another example is a gland so when you smell nice food Okay, delicious food or you see delicious food on the TV then your brain gets signals telling you that you might be getting some food now and then your brain sends signals to your salivary glands uh, in your mouth to start producing saliva to ready yourself for the food um, so that's an example of your um, brain sending signals via a motor neuron okay to your effector which is your sal uh, salivary gland and then lastly, interneurons are found in the spinal cord, only in the spinal cord, and trans, uh, transfers impulses between the afferent and the efferent neuron. Okay, so it's the, the connection point between the two. Okay. Then here's just all of them summarized together. So you start there with the receptor, sends a signal here to the spinal cord. In the spinal cord, here you have the uh, interneuron, which connects it to the correct um, motor neuron okay and then it sends that signal to the to the effector which is the muscle which will then okay, bring about some change okay so this is just a summary of everything and then here's the three diagrams that you have to that you have in your notes um, so here's your sensory neuron your interneuron and your motor neuron so the motor neuron is the most common one that that you will see okay uh, it's the one that we had at the start but the sensory neuron looks slightly different. Okay, so the motor neuron, you have the cell body here, uh, big cell body with a lot of dendrites. With the sensory neuron, you only have the small cell body in the middle of the this structure, okay? 
and uh, you only have one dendrite. So you see here, okay, it only has one um, uh, nerve going towards the cell body and one going away that then splits. Okay, so in this case, it's almost like the flip of the motor neuron, but not really. Okay, so you must remember the dendrite is the, the thing that goes, let me get my pen again. Okay, dendrite is going to transmit impulses in that direction. Okay, and there's only one of them. Okay, whereas here with the motor neuron, there's many dendrites that brings information towards the cell body. Okay, and then it has one that goes away from the cell body again, and then that splits into uh, many more uh, axons, okay, called axon terminals. Okay, uh, but don't worry about that. Just remember, okay, sensory neuron, one. Uh, dendrite, motor neuron, many dendrites. Okay, uh, so these are the main two that you have to study. Uh, the interneuron is basically just like a very simplified motor neuron. Okay, so you have these tiny dendrites, but also a lot of them, the cell body, the axon, and the axon terminals. Okay, so it's just a simplified motor neuron. Okay, so the main two that you really have to study that is very different is the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. Okay. And I believe that's it. I again, I'm stuck on the slide. I can't move again. But that is it for the yes, and a tree. Oh, it looks like a tree. I guess. Okay, so if that helps you to remember it. Sure, the interneuron looks like a tree. Um, but yeah, okay, that's it for this lesson. Um, hopefully, it wasn't too long. It was about 50 minutes, I see. Um, so nice, normal lesson time. Um, there's no Zoom lesson next week because next week you are back at school. Um, but luckily, we are now done with animal tissue. We will recap it very quickly in class. Um, but, okay, you guys should now have a good overview of animal tissue. Okay, so remember to draw the diagrams, to do the questions. I will post the questions now and uh, to be ready next week, Monday. Okay, then enjoy your last few days. Um, and see you guys on Monday. Bye. Mm -hmm.